This is Dominic Singh with Where the Bugger Fly Shop, continuing with our tying video series. Today I'll be tying a super simple foam grasshopper pattern. Uh, fish is excellent here on the Yakima or any other stream. Uh, around late July to all, through, all throughout August, we have some excellent hopper fishing. And uh, this pattern will float all day, super durable. And best of all, it only uses two materials really, just foam and rubber legs. So let's get to tying. So the first step to tying this fly is just cutting the foam body. Now, uh, this foam that I'm using is six millimeters thick. Uh, you can either get the six mil foam like that, or you could laminate foam yourself. Uh, most standard sheet foam is two millimeters, so if you glue three sheets together, you can get a really cool multicolor hopper. Uh, this is just the tan, and to cut the body, just use a single edge razor here, and just cut a triangle shaped wedge just cutting straight down here. You can see I already cut one out here. Uh, that's the basic shape you're going for right there. Now, once you have the wedge, just square it off here, you can cut that. You can shape the head starting here. It's by taking a pair of scissors. I really like these curved scissors for this. And just kind of rounding that head off like that. Also take the abdomen here and with a pair of curved scissors, just trim upwards like that. You get a really nice natural bug taper there. So that's the entire body of the hopper. I'm gonna also take the razor here and cut straight down into that body. And that is the slot that the hook will sit in for the tine. All right, now that we have the body cut out, we can start tying. Uh, the hook that I have in the vise here is a Mustad R73 streamer hook uh, in size 10. Uh, it's a nice heavy wire long shank hook. Uh, you can get away with using a pretty heavy wire hook for these foam flies. So you wanna take your body, just kind of measure it up against that hook shank and right where you want that head to start, just cut out a little triangle shape like that in that body. Dude, that will be your final tie-in point for this fly. So you're ready to start the thread here. This is a 140 denier UTC in brown. You want to lay down a good base so that foam can attach. And then just take some super glue. And lay that down that thread shank and Press the body to expose the, uh, the slit there, get all the glue in there, and then take your thread and you want to create one segment about where you want the thorax to be. Just press down on the sides of that body there, get it fully secured. Right there. So now the body's fully glued on. Uh, you can tie in some legs, however you like. Uh, I just take some round rubber here and just medium size and tie an overhand knot in two pairs and uh, tie those in on either side. You can make them as long as you like. As you cinch down, they should flare out nicely there. A really excellent hopper profile. And at this point, I'm also going to tie in a little foam tag on top, just uh, some two mil sheet foam in orange. You can also tie a poly wing, elk hair, uh, or nothing at all, whatever you like. Just something you can see. Then I'm crossing the thread over the body here to that V cut that I made. And I'm just going to wind the thread around there a couple times and cinch down forms a nice segmentation there. Now pull the stubs of these double legs forward, tie those in securely. You can clip them. At this point, I'll also tie in the uh, top of the tag foam there. Really nice and secure. You can trim that also. And now you can add front legs. Uh, I just uh, tied two overhand knots in the same medium round rubber leg. I'm going to tie those in on either side. The overhand knots just give a little more movement.
Get a really excellent buggy profile with this fly. Super simple, that's all there is to it. You can just uh, tie a half hitch or whip finish right over that head and foam. Cinch down. Trim the thread. Now if you like, uh, you can take Sharpie, like this. And uh, I like to color in a little eye. Not that it makes a difference to the fish, just makes them look cool. Like that. And just trim up the legs to your liking. You have an excellent, excellent two material grasshopper fly. Excellent fly here on the Yakima. Great across the globe. Give it a try. All materials can be found at our website. So call into the shop or uh, order online.